I just want to say uh, thank you very, very much for uh, coming tonight. It's uh, my pleasure to be able to do this and to provide uh, all this for you guys. Uh, but the more important thing is Semper Fi. Thanks, Mark. The Semper Fi Fund was started by a group of military spouses in 2004. They saw the need for service members coming back and they didn't have anyone at their bedsides. They didn't have um, help at all. So we've given out $78 million so far. Um, we've provided assistance for 10,000 service members so far. Um, it's all because of you guys. So we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all that you do for us. Davey Lynn. Thank you. I am the face of the veteran. I, um, I joined the Marine Corps when I was 18 years old. It was what I wanted to do from the time I was five. I went on to enjoy great success in the military because it was my choice, because we enjoy great, great, great freedoms in this country. So I got to do exactly what I wanted to do. So I was injured June 14, 2007. Uh, my wife received the second worst phone call in the world, which was that I was seriously injured, and, and we had to kind of go on from there. By most measures of success in, in the United States, I am what you would consider successful. And what I'll tell you is that that, um, that success that I have, that I enjoy today, was built on and established from a foundation of support and love and, and, and just general support uh, at a very crucial time. This is not about what the government isn't doing or what they can't do. It's about uh, Americans filling and bridging a gap that the government simply can't react to because we are a tidal wave of injured that are coming in. I'm a, I have one sister, she's my baby sister. In my opinion, they rule the world. But well, when I became associated with the Semper Fi Fund, my sisterhood grew by like 30, 30, literally 30 women that run the fund. They're now my sisters. They call me up, hey, what are you doing? We need this, and you just, you just do it. Um, in my opinion, These women are angels on earth. They can move mountains. Uh, they are doing great, great things in a very crucial and short time period. And they interact, they hear the worst stories day in and day out. They do it day in and day out. So they're, they're absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. I, I don't matter, but I just want to make sure that everybody realizes that when I speak, I speak for all the good Americans when I say thank you to the warriors for all your sacrifice. Everywhere I go, every cop, every teacher, every hunter, every rancher, every guitar player, well, most guitar players, but everybody with a heart and soul and realizes that freedom ain't free deeply, deeply thanks you and appreciates the sacrifices that you provide for the last best place here in America. So be sure you take this beyond today's event and tell everybody in your everyday life, at church, at school, in the workplace, and at the barbecue, and the shooting range, and the fishing hole, be sure you keep this kind of generosity and appreciation and understanding alive and well all year long, every day in your everyday lives. Because there's no one more deserving than the heroes of the military who have provided the American yeah. Yeah. Give and give and give and give and give and then give some more. Thank you.